Hi, this is Tech Mike. Our customers often ask for assistance in setting up a RAID array in their new Tech Mike NY server. In this video tutorial, we'll provide step-by-step -step instructions for how to set up a RAID array in a Dell PowerEdge server. The PERC, or PowerEdge RAID controller that we're using, is an H730, and the server is a Dell R730. But the steps are virtually identical between all Dell PowerEdge servers. When the boot menu pops up, press Control R. This will bring up a list of the physical drives available for configuration into a RAID array. Click F2, Operations, Clear Config. This ensures that you are removing any previous RAID configuration that existed on the controller and disks. Click Yes. Now with all previous configurations cleared, we can create our new virtual disk. Select the perk, Create VD. Since our server has seven drives, it is standard to make the first two drives RAID 1. As a refresher, RAID 1 mirrors the data across both drives, creating a copy. Click OK. This will return you to the main perk menu, where you can initialize the virtual disks. Click F2 again, select Initialization, Fast Init. This will complete the initialization on the first virtual disk. We can now use the remaining drives left in the server to create other virtual disks. To do so, we repeat the process that we performed on the first virtual disk creation. Select the PERC controller at the top of the menu, click F2, Operations, Create New VD. You can select RAID 5, as shown in our configuration here, or RAID 10, which is typically faster. We recommend keeping one drive as a hot swappable spare. You'll notice here, we left one drive off of the array. This will serve as our hot swap spare. From the advanced menu, check configure hot spare. The hot spare then needs to be manually enabled. A prompt will appear for the drive or drives to be selected to serve as the spare. Click OK. This configuration will allow you to have two failed drives without any loss of data. If one drive fails, then the hot swap spare will automatically take over the failed drive functions. While this particular configuration could withstand another failed drive, it is recommended that you replace failed drives as soon as possible. We then repeat the initialization process for the second VD or virtual disk we created. Select our newly created RAID disk group, click F2 Operations, Initialization, Fast Init, click Yes. As before, the Initialization Complete notification will pop up. Click OK. With the virtual disk set up, click Escape to exit the configuration menu. You will then be prompted to press Ctrl-Alt-Delete to reboot the system. For additional resources on RAID, you can view our Tech Talk blog, which has posts on RAID basics, considerations on selecting a RAID controller, as well as compatibility pitfalls for 4KN drives in Dell 12th generation servers. Lastly, never hesitate to reach out to us at info at if you ever have any questions. Thanks for watching.